You're now tuned into Kofi's Universe since you're just sitting on Uranus. This is the number one YouTube channel for hip hop culture news, informed black social issues, song reaction videos, and even comedy. So be sure to like this post. And if you haven't already subscribed, do so right about now. Razzcast. YouTube salute. The brat has responded to recent online backlash about the name she called her long potential black sperm donor, insisting that she meant no harm when making the remark. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So the brat and her um, wife, yeah, Jessica Harris, Dupart aka Big Booty Judy, <laughs> they were on a Timron All show last week. The hip-hop pioneer insisted that her Jiminy Cricket remark was made and just meant to signify the frustration the pair was feeling when they couldn't find a suitable genetic prospect for their impeding child. Um, we thought that when it got to the donor part, it would be a breeze. I didn't think it would be offensive to anyone. I cracked jokes about almost everybody that I saw. That one just happened to make it into the show. I wasn't trying to be mean or like say anything negative about black people. We were looking for a black donor. We're black. We wanted a black donor. It was just misconstrued and taken out of context. I didn't think it would bother anybody or else I would have taken it out. Yeah, well, okay. So in a recent interview with The Root, the couple revealed they narrowed down their short list of sperm donors to 300 and only one was black. The mothers to be opted against using a sole black donor though over qualms about his appearance. That dude looked like Jiminy Cricket, the black joke. I was like, I'm sorry, but that wasn't going to be my choice. Instead, the couple ultimately decided to use a white sperm donor whose good looks and height they're hoping will be passed down to their unborn son because we didn't have a lot to choose from. He definitely wasn't black, but I think we did a great job with picking. He's handsome, he's tall, and I think he's going to look beautiful with, with my wife's eggs. After the interview was published, Harris the Park took to Baller Alerts comments section on IG to defend her and the brat's decision to choose a white surrogate for their pregnancy. To be clear, for all those who have who are not aware of many things we weren't aware of, here it is. Black men make up less than five percent of the donation pool. She began furthermore with genetic testing that is specifically for looking into the diseases that humans carry and inputting my stats in all of the Cairo banks in wit from thousands to about 300 of that only was black and he also unfortunately wasn't a perfect match she added so we actually waited a few weeks to see if the pool increased but unfortunately with the time frame we had to choose within six to eight weeks and there was no more new black donors that fit within that perfect fit of my genetic testing hopefully this headline that people are running with will educate more people that there's a huge gap in the sperm pool. Everyone, have a great rest of your day. All right, so how do I feel about this situation? I mean, at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do. You can choose whoever you want to choose when it comes to, you know, picking somebody to be the surrogate. It's, you know, the sperm pool. I mean, I'm not mad at what, what they pick. I feel like, how you going to disrespect a dude like that? The dude didn't do nothing to you. You know, he can come back and clown your ass, both of y'all, Big Booty Judy and um, the brat. But you see, they didn't clown the white men. And I, I bet you it was other white men out there that they probably saw. They probably didn't even disrespect them. I bet you they did. It was only, it's always our own people want to disrespect their own. Self hatred is an MF. And now they're trying to clarify, clean it, clean up, you know, the dirt that was in the house that everybody saw when they walked in. Oh, no, no, let me explain. You don't have to explain nothing. It is what it is. I mean, 
to y'all, it might be a joke, but to somebody else, this is who they are. This is their livelihood. I mean, the dude that donated, the black man that they, they chose not to actually go with his sperm, I mean, that's what he wanted to do is donate his sperm. He he, That's him. Regardless if you felt you didn't want to use that sperm because you want your child to be tall, handsome, you want to... Um, you want them to have them genetics. Okay, but you don't still know the person. You're looking for physical attributes. But what about the mental attributes? Shit like that can be passed on. The psychological attributes. Because that child is going to be half of that father also. Always remember that. So if it's things that you can't stand about that child, it's probably you wasn't going to stand about that man if you would have knew that man. Mark my words. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Copa Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.